Dr. Jen Ashton here with several new answers mm -hmm. to several new questions yep. that you all have been asking on social media. So we'll get right to the first one. When will we begin to see the effects of the COVID-19 vaccination efforts take place? I actually asked Dr. Anthony Fauci this question a few months ago in January, just as we were starting to see the initial phases of the rollout. And his answer to me was basically around this time, you know, early spring, April, May, June, we are starting to see some good indications from the nursing home population of how those vaccines have protected that group. But again, to see real world experience out, you know, the everyday people, we're going to start seeing that hopefully soon. All right. The next one is the million dollar question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we know how long the vaccines will protect us? Well, <laughs> short answer, no, we're learning that in real time. But remember, we have data based on two things, people who have been naturally infected and then the clinical trials of the people who started to get dosed with the COVID-19 vaccines as early as, you know, last August, September. Um, and the, the durability is called is looking pretty good, at least six months, at least seven months. And there is good data to suggest that people who are vaccinated get a stronger protection than people who have been naturally infected. So we are going to be follow, following this literally every single month. All right, and now to a non-COVID question. Okay. Any red flags about turmeric supplements? What about cautions for older people with atrial fibrillation? Always red flags when you talk about supplements. It's always preferable in the world of nutritional science to get your, your source from real food. So if you're talking about turmeric, use the real spice because studies have been done where they've looked at these supplements. Oftentimes they have fillers in them. They may have contaminants. Their purity is hard to ascertain. In general, this is a well-tolerated you know, spice or supplement. Some people may get some GI distress. It may, underscore may, increase the risk of bleeding. So again, you want to proceed mm. with caution. And like I said, just use it out of the spice bottle. Yeah, I like it in my eggs sometimes. Me, me too. Uh, and your ch and tea. Yes. Have you tried it in tea? Very, very good. Uh -huh. There All you right. go. Tasty. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. You Jen. You bet. You can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.